looks like what ha what's happening right now is the front edge of the storm is uh, starting to re-intensify as it moves into the Moose Jaw and Regina areas. And uh, it looks like Moose Jaw is under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. So the challenge is going to be figuring out the best place to be for when this uh, moves through the Regina area. Pretty interesting storm structure being reported here in Moose Jaw as that squall line is just moving through there now. Not sure if this uh, system is going to make it here before we lose daylight which is really frustrating because it looks like there's some nice structure on it. Might be relying on lightning to illuminate any kind of structure. Some beautiful pictures coming in from Moose Jaw. Really wishing I had been there. Alright, the system continues to change with every radar scan. And now we've got some pretty intense portions along the southern end. That's probably the area that is at the greatest risk of hitting the Regina area right now as it tracks northeast. Now it looks like the uh, southern edge is almost broken off or dissolved. And uh, still looking like Regina is going to get clipped by this. seems to be starting to pick up here. Virtually 
every direction and oh my goodness that one was beautiful. As uh, we refresh the radar here, that was at and that's at 9:40, so we should be getting an update any minute now. The funny thing is, this isn't really even the wind from the storm system. It's been this windy pretty much all day. So I'm really interested to see what the wind is going to be like once the storm gets closer because this storm isn't even actually hitting Regina just yet. actually make out uh, Mosaic Stadium. Those are those bright lights right there. Hopefully there isn't a football game going on there right now because they're about to get pretty wet. Rain impacting Regina, it's getting lit up by the lights of the city right now. And that is going to be here momentarily. Look at radar here. So trying to decide whether or not to push east or to just let this thing pass. Look at that right there. getting so dark and tough to really see anything except when it's illuminated by the lights of the city and uh, or by lightning we're right under I'm right underneath the front of the squall line now and the wind is definitely picking up 
there's a really low hated edge right over here. Right here you can see the base getting lit up uh, from the lights of Regina. And over here the leading edge is almost right past already. Thunder rumbling now. Haven't heard much of that actually. Just felt a raindrop. It's getting really close now. You're gonna almost get hit dead on actually. Pushing east isn't going to buy a lot of time at this point. Oh my goodness! That was the biggest and closest one I've seen yet. Wow! Should probably be facing the other way at the moment. So far, it's just some big raindrops. Here comes some hail. Pea-sized hail on the road. Pretty sparse at the moment. There's our radar. Oh my goodness, I was right off to the left. This is hands down the best light show that I've seen this year. Of course, that might not be saying much, given that this is my first chase of the year. Woo! All right. As far as my position is concerned, looks like we're gonna call the chase here. Oh my goodness, I hope that got on the stream. <laughs> 